Right, boys and girls, these are materials that you're going to need to create your homemade bowling. First, we're going to start with any empty clean toilet tissue roll, a water bottle, or an energy drink bottle, for instance, like a Gatorade bottle. Then you would need a glue stick or duct tape or scotch tape if you do not have duct tape. Next, you will need a pair of scissors. Then you would need writing material, such as a pencil sharpener to sharpen your pencil, red crayon or marker, black crayon or a black marker, whichever one of those, uh, it's a crayon or a marker, or even a matte pencil but red or black. You need red and black. Then you would need white copy paper or notebook paper if you don't have white copy paper. And then for the Gatorade bottle and the water bottle uh, you would probably need white tissue paper because that would make it a little easier. But uh, we're going to show you that in a few minutes. You will also need the ball that we created for tennis out of the grocery bags and we made a ball out of that. You would need that ball or a pair of socks that we also used um, for tennis. And you will also need a, a bit of uh, foil paper rolled up into a ball. The foil paper will be used for the tissue roll bowling pin that we're going to create. The store grocery bag store ball and the pair of socks that would be used for the Gatorade or water bottle bowling pins that we're going to create. And you're going to see all that in just a few minutes on how we create this. But I'm going to give you a little bit of time to go ahead and go find these materials. We'll be back in just a few. Hi boys and girls! We're back to help you uh, go ahead and put your pins together. We're going to start with the toilet tissue one because that one seems to be a little bit easier to do. What I did is on that white paper, I created a bowling pin. So again, this is your art. It does not have to be perfect. Mine is not perfect. Uh, you can look on the uh, Google to see how a pin looks or just look here. And you can see how the pin is shaped and how it's looked. Now, once you put your red lines on there, that tends to make it look like a perfect pin. So, I'm sure you'll do a wonderful job. Once you create this, you're going to cut it to where it is higher than your toilet paper roll, okay? Because you don't want to see it. We're not going to cut the outline because if we did, then you'll see some of this. And we don't want to see that. So, you're going to leave it like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glue stick. Open the glue stick, and you're going to glue on the toilet paper roll right where your pin is going to be glued to. So from one end to the other. So from the bottom to the top, you're going straight across. Okay? I got the glue on there. So now I get my pin. You're going to make sure that you start from the very bottom of the pin. You put it at the bottom. Hold it and just kind of rub it a little bit so it can stay and it can catch that glue onto the paper. And there is our toilet paper pin. Okay? Our bowling pin. Now, the next one we're going to do is a little bit more difficult. And you might need to ask your mom and dad to help your brother or sister. Even with this one, even in the drawing, uh, you can add a little picture to it if you like. This is your creation. This is going to be for your game, okay? And we're going to play this game on Wednesday. Now, earlier when we talked about material, I also added a Gatorade bottle. But I did forget to mention about red strips. So if you have red construction paper, or you can use your red marker. And we did the markers and the crayons and material. 
But on your gate, I'm using a Gatorade bottle. So what you will do is you're going to take off, even if it's an Ozarka bottle, you're going to take off the name, okay? The paper wrapping. Take it off, and we're going to discard that. Discard means we're going to throw away. All right, so we'll throw that away in a little bit. There's a little sticky part to it. You want that side to start off on your tissue paper. So I open my tissue paper all the way and I lay it flat. I get the sticky part of my of my Gatorade bottle and I want to place it onto the tissue paper at the very end, the very end of it. Now, I also cut tape I also cut a strip of tape so I can secure it when it's on there. So it's kind of sticky already, but I'm going to take my tape and I'm just going to put one little piece on there. If you don't have tape, it's okay. But we're going to wrap this around because you cannot use glue on there, but you can use glue to glue the paper together, but the bottle will not be glued. So I'm rolling it very carefully. Once I have it rolled, you're going to keep all this. You're not cutting any of this portion, okay? You're going to keep all that. So to keep it closed, I have some more tape that I'm going to use that I already cut. And this tape is a little sticky. And I'm going to tape it from the bottom to the top. It's not going to go all the way to the top. It's just to hold it a little bit, okay? So now it looks like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bring it down, fold it down from the back to the bottom, and it doesn't go all the way down. Don't go all the way down. Come up just a little bit, and you're going to hold it right there. So when you make your first one, all your other pins are going to go off of the first one. So I already created a pin. So I want to make sure that it's the same height. So you make sure that you look at it and you kind of puff it a little bit just to make sure it's going to stay. Okay. We'll move this one back over here because he's already made. Bring some of this tissue back because this is the front of my bottle. I have some more tape. And I'm going to wrap the tape around so it can hold it in place. Okay. So I come around, and it holds it in place. So now what I do is I just create the form, and this is what's so good about tissue paper. Tissue paper, you can move it around and shape it to where it can create your pin. Okay, so this is what it will start looking like. And you're shaping it again. If you would like to draw a little face on here, put your name, put a number, you can with your marker or your crayon. So now I'm gonna add my red strips. Here are my red strips. I'm going to add my red strips so that way it'll start forming. And I had to get my glue stick again. And I get one little end. Put a little bit of glue on there. Just so I can place it onto here to hold it. And then I bring my other strip around. Put some more glue. Let it hold there. Then I get my next strip because it has two. There's two red lines on there. Okay? So I have my other glue. Put the other strip on top. Just a little bit on top. Not too high up. Not too close. Just a little bit to where you can see. And I'm going to start from the back to the front. Where you can see a little bit of white in between. Okay? Come here. And I'm not making it really, really tight because I want it to look a little fluffy because your pins aren't too, too tight. Put 
hold it there. Then I just fluff this a little bit. And here's my bowling pin. Let me close my glue so it don't dry out. So, this is my bowling pin. Again, you can put a number if you like. There's 10 pins when you play bowling. But I'm not going to use all 10 of them. We're going to create a, the game that we're going to play on Wednesday by using about six of these. Okay? Now, the toilet paper roll, if you have saved these, because remember this is recycle, you can use 10 of them and just draw 10 of, 10 of your little pictures to glue it on there. Now, boys and girls, remember, you're going to use the ball that we created for tennis to go ahead and bowl with these pins, with the Gatorade or the water bottle pins. This is the ball or the pair of socks. Now for the toilet paper one, we I created a little ball out of foil paper to try to knock these down. Okay? So you'll learn that at the game on Wednesday. But I also wanted to remind you that when we were doing the racket out of the cereal boxes, remember I had said that these will come in handy, the side bars of it? Those were extra that we cut out. If you still have them, or if you have an empty cereal box, the edges of it, you can create the beginning and the release. So if you create these two, you'll notice in the game on Wednesday, these will come in handy. So that way you know where your steps are going to be. Remember, four steps, then you release. Okay? So you'll know where to begin. After four steps, you'll know where to release. And again, we'll cover that in, on Wednesday during the game. So boys and girls, don't forget to read on my on. Remember on Thursdays when we go live, we tell you about uh, the who's a winner is, the top winners, the top readers. Also, remember to do your Imagine Learning, Imagine Math, all those uh, scores are going into the district. We really want to see you doing a wonderful job. A lot of you are doing great, and we want you to keep it up. So... This is the materials that we use for bowling. We created our pins. So I like to see your, your uh, materials made. Go ahead and post it on um, Ancillary Live. Go ahead and put it inside the chat so we can see it. Um, so be prepared to play a game on Wednesday. See you later, boys and girls.